Hello everybody, welcome to Aubrey, my name is Renee. Today we are back here in The Sims 4, but we're actually having to go a bit back in time here. So before the Horse Range expansion pack got released, I was actually working on a bunch of builds for the uh, Grow Together expansion pack. And I never got to release them because then I was asked to do a preview of the, <laughs> of the whole expansion pack, the newest one, and then like with the live stream so we're back here i thought this was like the builds were so just so good that i didn't want them to just get lost so we're, we're doing them now i love the way that this build turned out again this is in grow together i had so much fun building with this expansion pack but i was a bit late to the game i will say that like i admit I had a moment where I was just absent from YouTube and now I'm not. I'm going full force. We're streaming two times a week. There's uploaded videos every day or like not every day, but most days of the week as well. At least once or twice a week, there's a new video on top of the live streams. So we're going strong, but I did not want this house to, to go to waste because I just loved the way that it turned out. So the whole premise of the house is I actually had to go back and watch the footage of me building it because I was a bit confused of what I was actually doing. But then again, also, I was like, ah, oh, yes, this is a good house. I love it. Um, <laughs> but this house turned out really great. I bet you could see it in the thumbnail, but it's just it's kind of like this mixture between a modern house and a cabin treehouse type of thing and i think it just turned out really good i wanted to use the windows that came with this expansion pack i thought they were very very awesome i'm actually having a bit of difficulties using the windows that kind of works with the roofing pieces because as you know you can't actually remove the roof flooring that it actually creates unless you do a um, like a see-through roofing, uh, so glass roof or something like that, which is kind of weird to me because these, they just lend themselves perfectly to be built with and to create these, like from floor to literally ceiling roof, um, window moments, but then you can't look through them. So they're just kind of a decorations. I like your sim almost can never get up until onto the roof unless you build a room up there but then again they need a certain amount of tiles to move around up there so it has to be quite a big roof or a very tall roof for that to work so i'm a bit confused on how to use these windows like to the extent that they probably meant it they also in the newest expansion pack in the horse ranch they also added these roofing windows again and I really love those. It was another variant of it. It was a bit smaller, not as tall, but I don't know how to use it because like you can clearly see here in this build that you can't see in to the rooms that the window is actually made to represent, which is kind of weird, but I made it work. I think it just looks really good, especially from the outside. If you don't think too much about it, it's not that bad. So I'm working on the whole um landscaping here the latest stream that we had so right now i'm actually building a huge like humongous ranch in the sims 4 horse ranch expansion pack and some people actually asked me how i do landscaping that is a really good question <laughs> The easiest things for me to say about landscaping is I always try to make it look somewhat more natural than I like, for example, if you see gardens, they always have this, like there's a manicured element to it, but then people always try to keep it natural. Like plants are placed in a certain way to make it look natural as if the plant or flower in question was actually from there if from the beginning so that's kind of what i try to do i look around in the surrounding areas what did the sims team use as references what plants did they put down and then i kind of work my way from there 
to do the landscaping but you can go back and watch the live stream i actually explain it a lot more in detail and show it off so it's a little bit easier to understand the floor plan in this build actually changed uh quite a bit because i didn't know what floor pan to do i knew i wanted like i ha i had the style so we have this concrete flooring we have this nice green pastel color in here with the black accents and and the stone i just i thought that looked really good it was a moment i was living for it but i as soon like w the more i started to add to the builds i was like you know what this room doesn't work here it makes no sense that there's a room here so i actually ended up trying really hard also to place in the freaking staircase i miss having spiral staircases i will just say it i miss it so much <laughs> it's because they were just the bomb like you could get shit done with the spiral staircase it didn't take up as much tile like on the long way uh you, we can kind of do that here but it's just not the same it doesn't look as good uh but i definitely tried to fit in the staircase in a way that would make sense um, and try it. I tried to turn it, twist it the other way around. And I finally found a workaround that I actually liked that worked well. So downstairs we have a kitchen, a dining room, a living room, which I'm creating now. So you actually walk right into the living space which might be somewhat controversial or annoying for some people but i just thought it looked good it made sense that you would walk into the living space um and then we have two bedrooms on the bottom floor here a shared bathroom and upstairs we have kind of i don't want to say another living space because it's more like a work area like an urban office and then I have another bathroom and the master bedroom. I actually experienced something when building the master bedroom. I, I think we're going to see it, but I hope not actually, because it was a weird glitch. Like, uh, I can't remember. Something glitched through the floor and I actually had to put the bed over it and try to cover up the glitch. And I could not get rid of the glitch no matter what I did. So that was kind of annoying. But the kitchen here... I love the way that the kitchen turned out. It is super like seamless, modern looking, really modern looking, but it is definitely in tone and style with the whole build. So I wanted to have aluminum, just polished aluminum. Uh, what are they called? Like the oven and the fridge. I wanted that to just be like really simple but fit in and then i wanted everything to be black and then we could put in pops of color like a, a really good splash of color would stand out so much in this room and i just love that uh, i was trying to do something that i saw on tiktok somebody did with <laughs> the floating shelfingies i hated it so i end up not doing it uh, but you can kind of see that the the bowl we have here with the fruits in it, it like the whole color of that really stands out a lot it like it is right in your face and that's because it's i don't want to say colorless but it is definitely more muted in color because there's so much black and i love that the way that everything just pops when you throw in some green in an otherwise black and gray space it pops so much and i love that it, it's just i think it looks really good so the kitchen it's, it's a fairly big kitchen because it's also a fairly big household so there is three bedrooms in this house which when you look at the house you you probably wouldn't think that oh so a lot of people live here because that was never actually the intention the intention was for a single couple or maybe a couple with one child to live here i did not intend to have as many bedrooms as i ended up having but i just loved the way that it looked and the layout is a bit more complex than i knew like you usually do which was really intriguing to me 
uh, sometimes I feel like we can get kind of carried away and lost in the whole, oh, we're just going to do a simple box with square rooms layout. When in reality, houses like real life houses are almost always a little bit more complex than that. And I kind of think that's what I, I really like about this house um, and the houses that I've built in the last month or so is that it, they're kind of a bit more complex with the whole layout. So a bit more realistic because we have to fit everything in, but also have to take into account that in The Sims, things are just based on a grid and that's not the case for real life but we have to take that into consideration when building in the sims and that automatically in the way that i build also creates a bit more of a complex somewhat more realistic looking uh layout for the whole build so we're kind of while i'm rambling on well we've, we've kind of done the whole um Dining room space, we're kind of doing the living room now. I think the color scheme in this build is really, really cool. It's a lot of muted pastel colors, but they really just pop because again, we're using a lot of the black tones, a lot of grays, blacks in this build, which makes every single color that I throw into that room, be it a wall that is the pastel color or a plant or a chair couch that has a slight different color than the normal black white uh, beige couches that you would normally see and i really love that it just the pop of color really speaks to me a lot and i think <laughs> that might be something that i'm actually without even realizing that I've kind of made into a brand for myself, the pops of color and the really, I don't want to say weird, but complex layouts of the builds and, and the storytelling in the builds. So I just, I just love that. We're building on one of the rooms here. Now I actually decided to make this into a, um, bed room with a double bed. So your sim can actually scooch over into the bed, that's no problem. But the reason that I made it into a double bed is because I did not know when I built this what type of sim would live in this room. So I had a very clear image in mind of what uh, the person living upstairs in the main bedroom would like, what kind of person would live there. But this bedroom, I was like, it could be a guest room, it could be... Um, like two sisters that live together, like something like that, roommates, it could also be. So it's kind of up to you guys what kind of room you want it to be. And I kind of like that sometimes. Not making all of the choices, but really making sure that you guys also have a bit of say in, in the build and, and what actually goes into it and what kind of thing you want to live here. So that's why I did that with that bedroom. Now I'm actually a bit on. I love the way that the bathroom turned out, honestly. I just wanted to throw that in there. I usually don't do that well at bathrooms, but this time around, girl, I love that. So I decided to throw in a kid's room here. Um, and I didn't know if I wanted it to be a toddler room or if I wanted it to be a more grown up kid. So I actually decided to, to do somewhat both things. I'm a bit unsure because again, it's a long time since I've actually done this build. So I'm a bit unsure what, if I actually ended up throwing in the toddler baby stuff upstairs or if I turned it into an office area, I can't remember right now, but I just love the simplicity of this kid's room. Like this child that lives here, man, the, the stuff that came with this expansion pack to grow together, the, all the clutter items for the kids and all that. So good. I loved it. Um, but yeah, it was just... I was kind of running out of space at this point. I don't know if you can tell, but there's like we're running out of space. And then again, they still have not fixed the freaking thing with the roofing clipping through the... <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you move a floor tile or something, I hate that. Yeah, so as I thought, I actually ended up removing the baby stuff and making it 
like this upstairs into an office you could actually have maybe a maid live in, in or a butler live in the downstairs that could be cool as well um but yeah i made this into a dedicated office area because this landing this deck was just I, I, it's a weird shape there's not a lot of items or furniture that would actually go up here that you could successfully fit in without you having to play a lot around the fact that your sim probably couldn't move back and forth in the room so i decided to just make it into an office area that is kind of well connected to the whole main uh master bedroom situation that's going on this bathroom here i actually i also really love the way that this turned out but it's for me it's not as nice as the one downstairs looking at it now it's not as nice i'm not as much in love with it as i was with the downstairs one which is so weird because i remember when building this i was like oh yeah this is super clean looking it's really good it fits with the whole theme but now yeah not so much ah i remember who lives here I knew I made up a storyline. So she's like a reporter, a, like a journalist, something like that. And she lives here. Oh, uh, you can see it here. So the whole window kept clipping through the floor. So I actually had to like try and cover it up. It was super annoying, but it was only from certain angles. So I tried to cover it up with, you know, rugs. It did not help. I was like, okay. So this is just what it is. I can't do anything about that. So we had to work with what we had. Um, but the master bedroom here, much like the office area, super simple. It's kind of one nerd in the color. And you're, you're definitely not unsure of the type of woman who lives in here. Like she's very career determined, high class. She's like... And that you can kind of see that in the house as well. Ah, oh, man. I'm actually quite annoyed now that I did not remember what type of sim lived here. But I remember it now. And you can kind of see it as well. The bedroom turned out really good. It's different from the rest of the house. But not so different that you can't see that it's kind of one cohesive thing. But I think we should jump into the screenshots, right? So let's take a look at them. Here we have the build here. I love the way that this turned out. It is on the gallery right now if you want to get it. You just have to search my origin ID, which is Aubrey, just like the channel name here. And you're going to be able to find every single thing that I've ever done in The Sims 4. If it's uploaded to YouTube here, I can almost guarantee that it is uploaded to the gallery as well. I love the overhead shots here where we can kind of see the layout of the whole build. I think that's really cool. It also gives you guys an idea because I realize when doing speed builds, it can be kind of hard to see where everything goes because it moves so fast. But you have to like cook like a two hour plus, sometimes four hour plus video into a little under 30 minutes for YouTube because otherwise people are just not going to sit and watch 45 minutes of speed builds I, I i i feel i feel that's not gonna happen i totally realized i forgot to put a sink into the build in the kitchen so you have to put that in there if you're going to get the build but again it's from grow together i really love the way that it turned out um tell me what you think about it in the comment section down below i always love to hear and and discuss with you guys and just chat around with you guys in the comment section so down below throw me a comment what you thought about the build and while you're down there in the comment section why not throw it a like a share subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications that's the only way that you actually get notified when i go live on the channel every monday and friday and when i upload a new video so it's the best way to keep up with everything I think I've rambled enough. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and have a fantastic day wherever you are in the world.